Hey guys, um, today is a product demonstration of the F1P train obstacle detection system. Um, these are available for retail. Uh, it's a method of seeing where trains are on your layout um, without having to look or if it's a hidden area or um, it, it basically uses light to detect if there's a train above it or not. Um, so I'm going to give you a product demonstration today. Um, there's another video on how to set it up. So this is the box that it comes in. It's a small box and inside um, you get three things. A microcontroller and printed circuit board. A USB cable for power and for a data connection to a computer. And uh, eight little detectors there in white plastic. Um, so first thing I'm going to look at is the actual circuit board itself. So I'll move them out of the way and zoom in. So this is the circuit board itself. It's on a printed circuit board and um, soldered underneath. Um, these are the pins coming out from the microcontroller. It's uh, isolated down the middle here. So this is almost, this is a, a dead zone. So if you're wanting to mount, this would be a good place to drill a hole. Um, on the top, we've got holes for the input and output connections um, and a series of resistors for making the system work. Um, the actual board itself down here you can see has little words written down the side. So we've got ground, reset, 5V, A7, A6, A5 and so on right down to A0. So each one of these resistors is connected to a pin and a pin at the other end. Um, what the system does is it takes an input from the detector and splits it up and reads each individual detector which is uh, soldered into each of these lines. Um, then it will process that and depending on the result it will either feed it back as a value out here or through the USB cable as a digital signal so you can do some computer control and fancy stuff like that which I'll be showing you in my video or you can output it as a 5 volt supply to an LED for example on your control panel um, that it does both at the same time so if you wanted a light on your control panel and an optional computer then it will display it in both locations if a train is detected so underneath we've got this sort of diagonal row of uh, solder connections which is the bottom connected to each one of the pins so here we have A0 which is the longest resistor at the very bottom here and if you wanted to solder in a connection you put the wire through there and solder onto that hole there all the detectors here are powered have two legs um, one leg is the 5 volt supply from the 5V line which is here and it's that one there uh, I'll show you again, that was that one there there is an instruction guide online so you can see and then the other connection from the, the other line goes to each one of these diagonal lines so where the resistor value, where the resistor is soldered into the board there, there, there is each one of these diagonal lines is the other connection for the detector so it would be that line for one, that one that one, that one, that one and so on so it can handle eight detectors and then it supplies them all with five volts so mounting the detector in the track um, I've already done this so I'm just going to move the camera over okay so I'm mounting a detector in the track here is a detector mounted into ballast and it's autofocus it's there in the track um, so it's, it's hardly noticeable at all is very subtle um, and detects light over the top of 
it so when a train passes over the sensor will go dark and therefore it lights a LED on your control panel. Um, another detector which I've mounted is over here just at the bottom of the points like that um, and there are a couple of other ones dotted around the layout. I've got some over here in my fueling depot, there's three on that line, uh, some in the station, um, unbalanced at the moment, there and there. Um, so it can handle up to eight detectors. It does require some light to um, get a signal though, so it unfortunately doesn't work in the dark particularly well, um, or bright sunlight, it always thinks there's a train above it. So. It depends on the light conditions, but it works reasonably well. So each one of those is connected. One wire goes to the 5 volt supply, the other wire goes to the control panel and solders into the little connectors, into the connection holes. Um, again, see the video on how to do this. So uh, mine all comes back to my controller, which is mounted under my board under my baseboard here. Um, I'm just going to move the camera down. So here is the microcontroller mounted underneath my control panel. Um, you can see that the wires are coming in. These are all the analog wires wired in and I don't have any digital connections out for LEDs but they would be on the other side. Um, and then this is the USB power and data connection. Um, so I'll give you a demonstration. So it uses USB mini B and I'm just going to plug that in and it should light up. Um, it just initializes to begin with and then it goes steady. And uh, now the fun bit begins. So that's now connected and all the detectors are powered and a signal is being fed back depending on their different light values. So we're over here by my laptop um, to give you a demonstration of the system. Um, here's a track plan that I've built and I've got my USB connection going into my laptop there. Um, so on my display I have lots of these well, uh, grey dot indicating where the detectors are and if there's a train sitting over the top um, the detector goes white so I know if there's a train or not. So that's my track plan, um, and now I'm going to give you a demonstration. So over here, you've got one of the detectors sitting in the track there, and we've got a train approaching. Here's our demo. Um, so I'm going to slowly move the train forward until it is overhead. Okay, so let's move the train forward to the signal. So now the train is just approaching the detector and we're going to head over to the control panel and have a look at that dot and there. You now see it's gone white, indicating that the train is overhead. And it is uh, covering the detector. So that's a product demonstration, and um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching.